Some type of run pass option going to the right. Do you remember this guy? No, not the running back. The quarterback, Jared Zabransky. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Whatever happened to Jared Zabransky? In high school, he was named the East Oregon Male Athlete of the Year because he played football, basketball, and baseball and excelled at all three. In football, he had 1,600 yards and 15 touchdowns, enough to get him a scholarship for football to Boise State, which he later accepted. In 2002, he redshirted. In 2003, his first full year at Boise State, he saw limited playing time because he was backup to Ryan Dinwiddie. In that year, Ryan Dinwiddie almost got 5,000 yards passing, so they didn't really need Jared Zabransky that much. In 2003, they went 13-1 and and won the Fort Worth, Texas Bowl versus TCU 34-31. In 2004, Jared Zabransky got the starting job. He was 11-1, and their only loss coming in their bowl game versus ranked number 7 Louisville. He had almost 3,000 yards passing, 16 touchdowns, and 12 interceptions, and he had over 300 yards rushing. Their bowl game loss, the score was 44-40, to so if they had the ball, they could have had a touchdown drive to win, so... That loss wasn't a very big one. The next season, Jared Zabransky got off to a rough start. He had five turnovers in their first game, and they lost their first two games. But by the end of the season, they were 9-4, and four, but they lost their bowl game again. In the MPC Computer Bowl, they lost to Boston College. A Jared Zabransky pick sealing the game. Late in the game, they had the ball. He picked... He threw the pick, and the final score was 21-27. to So, obviously, if they scored a touchdown with the extra point, it would have been 28-27, and they could have won. In 2006, Jared Zabransky got the starting job and had a very, very good year. Well, not stat-wise, but their team went undefeated and got national recognition. He was named one of the top 15 quarterbacks in the nation by Sporting News and was in the race for the Maxwell Award. Well, in my opinion, he's best known for the 2007 Fiesta Bowl. This is what kept them undefeated. He had a very, very good game, where they beat a very good Oklahoma team. Their comeback was amazing. They had, like, 20 seconds left, and they threw a touchdown on 4th and 14. That's amazing. And then, well... His career went downhill from there. He was named, however, to be the 2008 NCAA football cover athlete. He was the cover athlete, and then he went undrafted. The first cover athlete to ever go undrafted. That's so, so unfortunate. After an amazing comeback win, he didn't get anything. He went undrafted. Well, he did get signed by the Texans, but a few months later, he was released and put on their practice squad and then the next year he signed a two-year deal with the Steelers but then the contract was waived July 3rd so like most other quarterbacks he went to the CFL to try and get some NFL or professional playing time and maybe go back to the NFL he got a two-year deal with the Edmonton Eskimos and his first year who's the third string the whole year didn't get any playing time in his second season He only got two starts. In his first start, he went 16 for 23 with 188 yards passing, two touchdowns, no interceptions. But after the season, they released him. They released their quarterback that they had started a few times. So, he was over. He had, in the end of his career, he had just over 600 yards passing, four touchdowns, 10 interceptions in the CFL, and then he had 200 yards pat rushing and one touchdown. His long was a 22-yard rush. Now, he's a real estate salesman in Boise, Idaho, with a wife and two kids. He went from the highest of highs, the Fiesta Bowl, to not even making it to be drafted. So, that's another story of one quarterback that did really well in college but didn't play for a good enough team and didn't get drafted. And I think, in my opinion, he would have been a good NFL quarterback. He could be a good backup that's dependable. So it doesn't make any sense why 
a team did not sign him. He's better than some backups out there. <clears throat> Jay Cutler. Well, that's done for this video. See you next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe.